Now, when let's determine distance. How far did we go when we left on our earlier discussion from our little spot after Welch's Point and headed to Branford Reef? How far was that? We can measure that distance. We're going to take our, our dividers and we're going to stretch them out and see if they'll reach, and they won't. So what we want to do is we want to determine a way to find out how far is that. The numbers on the side of the chart are each one nautical mile apart. So if we came down here, we were at our 41 meridian line, and we go up to the 4105 line, take our divider, take the pointy end, and put it at 41, take the pencil end and match it at the 5, then put our pointy end in our starting point, make a line on our, on our course line, go back to that line we made on our course line, that's 5 nautical miles, now stretch out to reach the light, take that back to the side of the chart, and measure from 41, make a mark, and count these numbers. 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, point, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be another 5.4 miles. We had originally a 5 mile distance. So the distance from our position to Branford Reef Light would be 10.4 miles. What we need to remember is to always take the distance from the side of the chart never from the top. We can also take our distance from the scale at the bottom of the chart. Scale is in nautical miles. And once again, each of these blocks is a mile. So we have a scale of five miles, and we can reach up to our position and get five miles. And then we can take the next distance measure to the reef, measure that distance, and it's going to be five point. Now, this is difficult because they don't have this broken down into smaller numbers. You have to do a little bit of a guess here. A little less than half, 5.4. I like to use the side of the chart. I think it's much more accurate. The other tool that we can use is just the straight dividers. And these are a little bit more difficult, but they also work. And we can get our five miles here and take it to our spot. And here's our five miles. And then we can get our distance. The, the, the problem with these tools is that they tend to move a little bit, but we can get our distance here. And we're going to get five and another 5.4. 5 and 5.4 is 10.4. So uh, utilizing the tools. Another way you can do this, another tool that's handy to work with is the rolling weems plotter also has the nautical miles listed at the top. This is quick and easy because we can put the zero on our spot where we're leaving from and then reach over to our destination and we can look on our on our weems plotter and find that destination and we find that it's indeed 10.4 miles based on the on the weems plotter. Lots of ways to find your distance, using the tools to your advantage. Mm.